to be able to take that gamble, I call it a gamble. It's probably not a gamble for you. I don't know. Mm. To take that step, rather, did you? Did you? Like, what position were you in? Were you like, I, I think I can be happy and do something else and not work a nine to five. I think my mindset was more around just being minimal, just living within my means, and. Yeah, I kind of just adjusted my lifestyle. Like, I didn't really need, you know, you know, this lifestyle creep where you go with the cars and the clothes and you know, luxury things. Things like, you really don't need. Yeah, I didn't. I found that it didn't really bring me that much happiness. I think I find a lot, I derive a lot of happiness from just the activities I do, the people I hang out with. And I feel, because I did used to chase a lot of the material things. And I was like, I had it there and it would just sit in like my wardrobe and there'd be something you have to like look after, whether you clean it, if it's shoes, for example. Um, yeah, and I didn't derive that much pleasure from it. When when did when would you say you made that realization? I haven't really honestly thought about this. It's something I've had for many years though. Probably just a gradual thing over time, and to realize it at you know twenty five ish, that's a really good position to be in. I think a lot of us, I probably I, I'm I'm in the same boat to be honest. I think you realize that the monetary, the physical things don't actually, they don't enrich you. They don't make you happy. It's never enough more more importantly and it's the it's the experiences it's the time it's the you know the journey that you can share with other people is way more important than trying to accumulate Alicia Keys also said the same thing if you listen to Falling <laughs> which line? I will okay. um, she doesn't really need the physical things some people want it all <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have nothing at all it's like, no it's a different song that's if <laughs> yeah, I ain't got you jeez yeah, yeah that's what I mean. <laughs> come on man <laughs> Um, but yeah, man. I mean, yeah. On on that, yeah. So, so you 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 able to take that step back? I mean, do you think other people in your position could do it, or was it something that you, yeah, just given where you it. were yeah. at in your life? I think anyone can do it. I don't. I don't think there's a perfect time to do anything like this. You just kind of have to. I don't know. Maybe you wake up one day and you go, "Hmm, what if I do this? What if I try this? Why am I slugging away to get a car or something that I really don't need at the end of the day?" I guess you just got to figure out what's important to you at the end of the day. Like if yeah. it is important to you to set up for like family, um, like get married and have kids and things like, I think those things are important. Yeah. So I guess for some of our listeners who are maybe sort of teetering on the edge, if you had advice for them to sort of chase their dream or to stay w- what you're doing, currently doing, what, what, what advice would you give them? Hmm. So you got someone in uni, they want to be a hotshot lawyer, they think it's the it's the title, it's the money, it's everything that's gonna come with it, that's gonna make them happy, versus what do they actually want to do? Is it their dream or is it the ideal of it all? I don't know if it's for you or not. If you're having doubts, maybe talk to your peers and people you look up to and respect and see what their thoughts are. Or look at like I said with role models, like look at what they did, follow yeah. their steps. If you really want to be a lawyer. Go find a lawyer that someone that you can role model what steps you need to take. There's no really I don't think there's a linear path to anything. It's it's always sort of wavy. Yep. Up and downs. So yeah. In terms of advice, I think it's just <laughs> just go for it. Whatever it is. Did you did you lean on anyone around that time? Uh hmm. Not really, to be honest. Uh No, I'm drawing blanks. I can't think of anyone. Yeah, because I've always known you to be a pretty resilient, yeah. head headstrong, focused guy. I mean, you don't get in the shape you are from bloody doing nothing or yeah. being lazy. I've definitely, I've definitely built up the discipline to just do the stuff on my own because I drive pleasure from it. Like it's, I'm doing this for myself now. It's purely from an, an internal motivation. I think the building discipline part is very impressive. I mean, sometimes people think it's there from the get go. Sometimes they think, you know, dreams come from nowhere. Sometimes you just wake up and go, why aren't I here already? But I think the grind is, or how you face the grind and how you sort of made that gradual change to get to where you are. I think that's really cool, really something that I admire. I have heard from other people too, though, like say you're doing the nine to five gig, just do it, you know, put it away once it's five and then you can focus for two hours on your hobbies or passions. You know, you use that job that income to fund or fuel that lifestyle that you want, you know, you don't always have to drive pleasure from work. It's-
sometimes it's just pay the bills and then 